and they're also solving that by by delegation, right? So that that's how the other those other chains, Cosmos, Polkadot, EOS, all of them, you delegate your stake, and then those right. the well, people with those big machines are doing it for you. Oh, that's intermediaries. their type of crypto made easy, right? I yeah. mean, if if I can delegate, I don't have to do anything, but then it does centralize that power or if it's weighted then there's a voting and then there's a governance on top of it there's some mechanism in place that then chooses the yeah. right validator to do that that's another type of it's not necessarily 100 percent decentralized at that point but will debate me on that of course because it's part of the protocol but the fact is is that it's not the same. <laughs> not, I mean, it's it not, is it is much better the than it the is. fiat system. It is not comparable. It Correct. is already great. Yeah. It's just that um, we consider that um, this can be addressed through architectural choices that we decided to take. And we, we think that you don't have to go that route and again get into a system where you have intermediaries for the network to work. Um, we think that Again, it can be an intermediary situation, but mm -hmm. the idea is to have everyone to be able. Oh, I think Rob just died. Oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> die. I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you were like, you were like, really? Uh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, with really being able to um, continue with the system that is scaling and doesn't have intermediaries, I think is, uh, is something that doesn't have to be, um, to be given up. Yeah, I, 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 think, I agree. And anybody I, who's, who's done like polka dot, uh, mm -hmm. this is one of many examples. Uh, the, the, for me, the biggest issue with delegation is like, you don't have control over the staking anymore. So for me, it's happened many times on, on, on polka dot, um, that, uh, the fees changed. So I go in and it's like 1% fee and I go check again and it's 10. Yeah. Um, that's annoying. <laughs> well, know? that means you have to trust the pool, yeah. the person who's, they say it's non-custodial, but it's temporary loss of custody, at least while it's out of your hands. It's, you can't spend it, right? In true proof of stake, you can spend yours whenever you want. But if it's at some someplace else, uh, you mean like it's at least ups? impermanent. Yeah. Yeah. It's impermanent. It's like, like any other, whether you're baking or whether you're in um, Cardano, you know, you're sending it off and they have the power, that pool has the power to change its percent on what it pays you. And that's okay. They should have that ability. Uh, it just, it's just strange to me. I don't yeah. Know. Well, it's just not in your power. Whereas when you're yeah. stake with, with Divi on your own node, cause it's lightweight, you have that. Um, so that's good. That's, that's one good thing that like, and so the next thing that, uh, that's unique about Divi is vaulting. Now there's other chains that say they have vaults, but it's not the same thing. Vaulting is our methodology of, of having somebody else or another computer, I should say, do the staking work, but the, but the funds are yours. Um, Correct, and that's the difference. There's no, there's no changing of fees. There's no, nothing like that happens. The, just the actual computational work happens somewhere else, um, but uh, but it's your vault. So it's not really a delegation. You have if you if you want to do this, you either have to fire up the this the 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 computer that's doing the work. Or yeah, I got to pay somebody to use their computer. Either way, that's why you pay in the mobile wallet, uh, or, or actually either of the Divi Labs wallets. I'm sorry, and either Divi, Divi wallet, um, you got to pay somebody to do the the staking part, the computational part, the validation part. Um, but the funds never leave you, and you can do that yourself. Um, once again, it doesn't have to be you. It's it's a pure kind of safety method of having uh, staking done. You That's can right. Than I just did. It's just the <laughs> fact they've set up a server, yeah. and it's more that you are just remotely, by cryptography, working on that server through a permissioned key called a host key. It used to be called a manager key, and that allows you, with your eyes closed, on your head on your pillow, far, far away, through a cold technology that allows you to validate, or that daemon, as Neegs would correct me, that daemon on that server uh, to mine blocks and validate those blocks. It is, 
it is purely, purely cold in that respect. And it's really, 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 really cool. Yeah. It's, um, that's yeah, right. A and solution for this. So yeah. one of the big difference, I think, um, is the approach of, because again, like you talked about being able to have a remote server or mm -hmm someone else staking for the other person. I think we need to clarify here the difference yes. with DPoS. And what you have in DPoS is the pooling system, right? Correct. Like whenever you delegate your staking power to that external point, you actually make now take part in a pool and then get part of the reward based on the structure that this person who is offering the pool service um, is actually setting, right? While on DV, you can have a remote server, but then if someone would be offering you the hosting, they don't have any power over your staking. They don't have no. any power over your funds. They can't impose fees. All of that would have to be an agreement between you and them. It's external. It's not, they have no power over your reward. And that's also something that, um, it is kind of um, a funny situation. Users, they come and they're like, hey, um, can't you pay yourself on the reward? And and in fact, it is, it is the whole thing, right? DV never will have any control over your reward. So if there would have to be a payment, you have to pay after. And this is something that doesn't happen in those DPOS because they have control over your reward. So Let's, whatever you receive is something that they accepted to send you. So it, it is a very different situation. Let's, let's clarify to Divi, the blockchain, which you participate on, you control your funds, you set up your vault, you control your activity, whether you use it close, that means in front of you on a solo machine, or whether you're nerdy and you set up a vault locally to you, whether you set up a vault virtually at a data center from afar, whether you use the optional crypto made easy inbuilt services, all you're doing and all you uh, would be paying for, whether you have a data center that you personally learned and set up yourself, whether you did it locally or, or, or the labs featured offerings is you're paying for a server. That's all you're doing. You're paying for hosting. Yeah. <laughs>